my head hurts. Uh, uh, Chase. 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 Jesus yeah. Christ. Chase, Jesus. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest zombie transformations in movies. And for this list, we'll be looking at the scariest scenes in which a human character transforms into a zombie or a zombie-like creature. Which of these scenes did you find the most unsettling? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. The First Transformations – World War Z We know, we know, World War Z is nothing like the beloved book, but it's still a very entertaining zombie movie when taken on its own terms and contains many effective sequences. The opening sequence is among them, as Jerry and his family witness the rise of the zombies. Out of nowhere, people stuck in traffic start transforming into fast and bloody killers. They contort in grotesque manners, slam their heads into windshields, and, you know, bite people. This understandably causes a lot of fear and panic, and the scene's use of shaky cam and quick cuts places viewers in the middle of the pandemonium. Now this is how you start a movie. Number 9. Rain, Resident Evil just by virtue of being played by Michelle Rodriguez, we knew that Rain would kick some butt. Unfortunately, she's the first member of the team to get bitten, and the clock tragically begins ticking. Rain's transformation throughout the movie is slow and difficult to watch. When the time comes, you'll take care of it. It becomes very obvious that she's dying. She becomes weaker and more fatigued, her skin turns a pale white, and she sweats so much she looks like she just hopped out of the shower. I'm not dead yet. Her final transformation is also quite creepy, as she stands up normally and cranes her neck before revealing those terrifying bright blue eyes. Why her teeth suddenly became rotten, we don't know. Number 8. Don, 28 Weeks Later the 28 series famously reinvented the zombie genre. They aren't really zombies, they're infected. They don't mindlessly shamble about, they run. And coolest of all, it doesn't take hours or days to turn. It takes about, oh, 10 seconds. The movie takes full advantage of this with the horrifying transformation of Don. Don kisses his wife Alice, not knowing that she's an asymptomatic carrier. He immediately begins twitching and frothing at the mouth, and it really isn't long before he's writhing on the floor and spitting up blood. He then attacks his wife, and it is grisly. It's a great sequence, containing effective uses of music and sound design. Don actor Robert Carlyle is also excellent, his changing body language and expressions speaking volumes. Number 7. Jennifer, Wreck This short but sweet Spanish zombie movie follows a news reporter named Angela who's visiting a local fire station. While she's there, the station responds to a call from a nearby apartment complex, which is being quarantined by the local authorities. While at the complex, Angela meets a sick young girl named Jennifer, whose mother claims is suffering from tonsillitis. Oye, ¿cómo te llamas? Que, que lo sepa todo el mundo, ¿cómo te llamas? Jennifer. The truth is, quite obviously, far more terrifying. In one of the movie's most effective sequences, little Jennifer suddenly bites into her mother's face before screeching at some responders and running upstairs. It's a startling sequence that's brilliantly filmed, and it's with this transformation that the movie veers into full nightmare territory. Jennifer. Tranquila. Tranquila, eh? Number 6. Lieutenant Muldoon, Planet Terror This zombie film from Robert Rodriguez is intentionally ridiculous. Originally released as one half of the Grindhouse double feature, it harkens back to the cheap, exploitative, and astoundingly gory horror films of the 70s. In this one, some type of biochemical agent is released into the air, turning the small town's citizens into zombies. Lieutenant Muldoon explains the origins of the gas, before turning into some type of outrageous and grotesque monster. It infect the large enough populace. We watch in horror as his face starts breaking out with gross bubbling boils, and before we know it, he's a giant slimy monster. I never had a choice. 
despite the silly nature of the scene, there's a certain degree of unease to it, not to mention grossness. God bless you and your service to this country. Number 5. Lee Sang Chul, Hashtag Alive. A South Korean horror film, Hashtag Alive effectively blends two pop culture fascinations, zombies and streaming. Oh Joon Woo is streaming video games when a zombie apocalypse begins outside his apartment. Naturally, he remains inside to stay safe. But curious, he cracks his door open and accidentally lets in a bitten neighbor named Lee Sung Chul, who then uses his bathroom. It goes about as well as you'd expect. It's not long before Sang Chul starts bleeding from his eyes and contorting in quick and jerky movements. <laughs> he then attacks Jun Woo with a jump scare, capping an already horrific sequence with an effective startle. <laughs> Number 4. Andy, Dawn of the Dead Zack Snyder's first foray into the zombie genre was largely better than his second. A loose remake of George A. Romero's iconic original, Dawn of the Dead contains many effective zombie transformations, but perhaps the creepiest of them all is Andy's. The owner of a distant gun shop, Andy spends most of his apocalypse days on the roof, taking pot shots at zombies and playing chess with Kenneth. The, sickness, you get up, come on, get down in the, the mall group decides to send food over to Andy. But zombies break in during the attempt and bite him. Andy soon starts voraciously scribbling on his whiteboard, and through a wonderfully creepy reveal, we realize that he's turned. Writing something. What's it say? It's a very well filmed and edited sequence, and further tension is added when zombie Andy starts chasing Nicole. Number three, the first train zombie, Train to Busan. Another great Korean film, Train to Busan, mostly takes place on the titular locomotive. This naturally causes a lot of great tension, with the enclosed train setting offering palpable feelings of claustrophobia and panic. This gimmick is evident in the first transformation scene, which comes via a sick stowaway. <laughs> The young woman collapses, but when a train attendant radios for help, she slowly rises to her feet in the background. This photography trick has been done lots of times before, but it remains compelling. Adding to the horror is the woman's cracking neck and zombified appearance, which includes pale eyes and dark veins. Props to the makeup department on this one. That is one creepy zombie. Number 2. Chase's Resurrection, Overlord This horror film from producer J.J. Abrams shares much in common with Planet Terror, including a similar grindhouse-y tone. In Overlord, a paratrooper squad lands in a small Nazi-occupied village and discovers grotesque human experiments underneath the church. A soldier named Chase is shot and killed by a Nazi soldier, but fellow American Boyce injects him with an experimental serum in the hopes of bringing him back to life. Not a good idea. It works, yes, but Chase quickly turns into a violent zombie-like creature. It's a horrific transformation, complete with lots of grisly visuals and revolting sound effects. <laughs> Actor Ian DeCastiker certainly commits to the bit, what with his contortions and blood-chilling screams. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Frank, 28 Days Later Poor Frank was the heart of 28 Days Later and he's the only one of the four main characters to die. His death is both scary and deeply tragic. Frank suffers the worst luck of all when a small drop of infected blood falls into his eye. <sighs> Frank quickly begins growling and snarling as his body contorts, and his young daughter is forced to watch her loving father go mad. Luckily, incoming soldiers put him down before protagonist Jim is forced to act. 
Brendan Gleeson's physicality is terrific, as is the music and the sound design of the snarling. The fact that it's so painfully quick, combined with the fact that Frank dies in front of his daughter, makes it even scarier. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.